G'day, it's Heath here from PickingLessons.com. In this banjo lesson, we're going to take a look at a 12 bar blues played in the key of G. Let's start out with a nice slow play through the first half of the 12 bar blues. First six bars with pickup notes. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Right, the 12 bar blues in the key of G. It works great on the banjo. Now this is the second video I have in this blues style. If you head on over to pickandlessons.com, you're gonna find the tab with these licks that we're playing in this video. And you're gonna find the first part of this blues lesson where we take a look at the blues scale and the arpeggios for the G7, C7 and D7 chords. So that's in the first lesson, the blues scale lesson for the banjo. So for this lesson, the blues in G, we're gonna take a look at a bunch more licks that can be mixed and matched with the first lesson. And we'll take a look at the G major blues scale. Have a look at some ideas that we can use in our playing. So some rhythmic ideas and some passing note ideas. So head on over to pickinglessons.com. Check it out. Okay, so we are in 4-4 time and we have a shuffle feel. And the shuffle feel gives us, with our quavers, a long, short rhythm. One and two and three and four and. In this rhythm, we have the eighth note triplets mixed in there as well. So one and a, two and a, three and a, four and a. So we have a combination of those two rhythm types throughout. Our right hand is primarily playing down strokes with the thumb. So our thumb is just playing down on each of the notes pretty much all the way through. There's a couple of spots where we're gonna use a finger just to play an extra note here and there, but really our thumb is playing the notes mainly in that downward fashion. It gives it a really nice feel. So we're gonna take a look at a couple of exercises for that. Now what we'll do to start with is have a look at the triplet that we find in the pickup note. Now the triplet has these three notes and we have a grace note slide into the first of them. That's from fret three to four. So the grace note treat the third fret as not so important and we want to move into fret four as soon as we pick that string. So remember, we're using our thumb. So the first note has the grace note into it, and then we have the next two following on, and in the triplet, we have this. Three, four, and a. Three, four, and a. So the triplet, three notes in the one beat, the triplet eighth notes. Three, four, and a. So there's the triplet. We have the grace note slide, and then our thumb playing all down strokes. So the triplet, that's a good one to practice, just to get used to that downstroke with your thumb. That's about as quick as you're gonna to need to play. And you've got the grace note slide into that as well. Okay, so with our thumb as well, we'll have a look at the first lick in the first bar. So that's a great little lick. Now what we have here is a grace note slide into this partial G chord. Again, our thumb is just playing all down strums. And we have this little passage. With that hammer on, with your second finger, play it as a grace note out of the bar on the third fret. Follow on with that triplet that we started with. So let's loop that first bar. It's a great exercise to get you going. Remember, all down movements with the thumb. Just the thumb, no fingers. Gives you a really nice feel for what we're playing. The grace notes, remember, slide or hammer on into those straight away as soon as you pick. And 
remember we have the shuffle feel, so the long, short, long, short, long, short for our eighth notes. And we have those triplets mixed in there as well. All right, so let's jump forward and have a look at bar five. In bar five, we've hit the C chord, our first chord change in this 12 bar. The first four bars of the 12 bar are over the G7 chord. Then the next two bars are over the C7 chord. And what we have here are some passing notes leading us into different inversions of the C7 chord. So there's part of your C7 shape. Those two notes there, fret eight on string one, fret nine on string three. And we're using the, the chord shape, a semitone lower as a passing note to move into that C7 shape. So our C down here, F fret five, passing into C7, and then again up the neck into this partial C chord here. So there's a C shape, there's a C triad, and we're taking those two notes and moving into the chord. So we're using the leading notes to the chord position to create that cool bluesy sound. purely based on where our chords are found. So remember we have a C7, and here's another C, and I have a C. We have those three inversions in the melody, and we're using the passing, or we're using the leading notes to get into those chords. So the idea of those chromatic passing notes works really nicely. We find that a couple of times in a few of these licks a little bit later on as well. So the first six bars of this 12 bar blues, check it out, have a look at those licks, get to know them. If you head to pickinglessons.com, you'll find the tab for all the licks, the G major blues scale, which we'll take a look at in the next video, which is also on the site. And we'll also have a look at the second half of this 12 bar and the licks that go with the other chord changes. Pickinglessons.com, I'll see you there.